Okay, back for part um four. <laughs> part four of fate stay night. Fate route. Okay. Well, it's getting late, so I should rest for tonight. I can decide about how to treat him after I wake up. I guess. Ooh, mysterious. The day of fate comes to a close. The day of fate comes to a close. No, this night is the start of fate. Fate. <laughs> There's six, including myself now. One's the last one sum summons a servant. The seventh one, who is not yet a master, this holy grail war, war holy grail war will commence. It's not far ahead. The battle I waited ten years for is about to commence. Hey, February first. Turner. Turner. <laughs> The Holy Grail War. It is a great ritual which has been practiced for hundreds of years. If one enters the ritual, one must eliminate the other six, as it is a battle for one's life. I wonder who cre like how they get the the, the creativity to make this. It must be wow, because like it's very well thought out. <laughs> it is said that the Holy Grail is in the land of Fuyuki, Fuyuki, and that many Magi have fought each other in here in the past. They had only one purpose. It to obtain the noble phantasm, fan, 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 phantasm or phantasm, phantasm, right? Phantasm, phantasm, phantasm. I don't know. No phantasm. Yeah, noble. Could say phantom. Phantasm. Whatever. Called the Holy Grail. <laughs> but the original of the or the origin of the Holy Grail is unknown. It's certain that that it never received the blood of God, but its power matches that of the one in the legend. Yes, it is said that the Holy Grail can grant any wish. Only one has the right to possess it. The Holy Grail can only grant one wish for one person. But seven Magi, Magi are needed to summon the Holy Grail in this land. One miracle, seven collaborators. Well, the point is, it was only a matter of time before a fight broke out over the Holy Grail. Ah, it began like an ordinary fight over resources. The seven Magi used the power of the Holy Grail equally to each uh, summon a familiar, a servant, to battle the other Magi. Only one Magus will obtain the Holy Grail, and so each of them treated the other six once allies, now as enemies, and a gruesome fight began. This is a ritual called the Holy Grail, Grail War, a competition between Magi for the Holy Grail. The Magi chosen by the Holy Grail are called Masters, and each Master receives a powerful familiar called the Servant by the grace of the Holy Grail. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, too fast, too fast. Assassin. Okay. <laughs> there are two proofs that one is a Master. I was trying to read the cards. I mean, I noticed some, you know. Summoning a serpent and making it obey, and obtaining the three command spells that I keep, I keep, I keep thinking of seals, uh, spells that can order the serpent. The first goes without saying. Yesterday, no, a few hours ago to be exact, I summoned Archer to be my servant. That leaves only the second. I must protect, protect to the end this command spell that binds the serpent. For a master, this is probably the most important thing of all. The pattern inscribed on my hand, right hand after summoning Archer. This is a command spell. This holy sign, granted by the Holy Grail, is proof of a master who has summoned a servant. This mark with concentrated magical energy is an instant instantaneous thing, not, not an inter eternal one. It is consumed by use, and as the appearance suggests, it has one use for each strike. In other words, only three times. A master who loses all three of their command spells will be unable to control their servant and face his death. So, the command spell must be guarded as closely as one's life. It hurts my head to think that I've used one right at the start, but it wasn't completely meaningless, so I'll call it good. Because it's not usual, unusual for servants to go against their masters. I'm fortunate to have been able to chain him using one command spell. And she, she worded it nicely, so it's good. Well, that's the gist of it. The Holy Grail War will start when the seven servants are all summoned. We have to wait for Emya and his late ass. I can't just sleep in. I, can't, I don't know when the last servant master will appear, but it should be soon. I just want to get to the part where we can choose. I can start choosing shit, you know, like in a regular VN. <laughs> Morning already. I'm so tired. <laughs> Looking out of the window, days. I notice the sun's already way up, way up. It's past nine. I don't think it's a question of being late anymore. I'm glancing, glancing at the clock and confirmed to myself that I'll be skipping school today. My body's so heavy. It feels like he's taken over half my body. I sit up in bed and take a long, a deep breath. I'm not tired just because I'm not a boring person. Like Archer said, a master who has just summoned their servant cannot function satisfactorily. That's right. I summoned Archer, not Saber. I can remember clearly. 
Well, it's not something I want to remember, but even if I don't like it, there's no chance, second chance. About a day until my, oh. About a day until my magical energy returns, huh? Then I guess today will just be a test drive. I suddenly climb out, I climb out of bed and I fight a, a bit, a bit. I fight a bit against the unseasonably warm air and my desire to stay wrapped up in my blankets. I knock out the desire to go back to sleep in the third second of the match, of the match and check myself in the mirror. Nothing's obviously wrong, except for the fact that I have only about half the usual magical energy in my body. Everything's up to par. Well, there shouldn't be any problems. For now, I want to check the situation. The servant I summoned this archer. He's a rude guy with no manners to spare for a summoner and master. And on top of that, he doesn't know who he is. Oh, I'm, I'm getting a headache already. I'll have to live without his noble phantasm. Phantasm? Phantasm? I feel like it's phantasm, but phantasm until his memory returns well there's no way he can use it if he doesn't remember it servants are powerful familiars on their own but what makes them the most powerful is the fact that they all have one powerful secret move is it the rate is it a flower shit is that is his flower right <laughs> the problem is archer says he can't remember what it is well it's partly my fault so we'll have to make do that's right as this is how things ended up we're oh yeah by the way um I'm late for saying this, but, uh, yeah, since you guys are, you know, you already read the end and everything, you know, um, I'm the type of person to be asking a lot of rhetorical questions, so please keep all spoilers to a minimum. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's right, as this is how things ended up, we're both on the same boat. I hope he sort of, so I hope he sorts out his memory soon, but with the way he's acting right now, who knows what that will be. Honestly. Looks like we've got a load of problems ahead. I just can't wait for the part when Lancer comes in. Wow, maybe I should have a better opinion of him. The living room is just the way it was. I only expected him to clear up the rubble, so I'm... Oh. That reminds me. Um, so you know how Archer can, like, sum it up and, like, make fake things. Not really, oh, copy things he used to trace on. So, um, and, like, when he came in, he mostly, like, destroyed everything. So, he traced on every single piece of furniture in this room just noticed that. That's great. <laughs> I just love how since I know it's just like, oh yeah, because how can he fucking replace everything? He can't just go to the store and buy things and no one can see him. So it's just like, wow, that's awesome. Okay. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, I thought I heard something. Uh, I only expected him to clear up the rubble, so I moved that he... I'm moved that he went this far. He must have felt bad about making such a mess of the living room or he wouldn't have done this. I should call him an admirable. Admirable. Or maybe just a nice guy. Why are you talking about my pussy like that? It's like, <laughs> I take it back. This shameless attitude, he doesn't deserve any praise at all. Morning, you seem really pretty relaxed. I see you've made yourself at home here. What? I've a few どこに何があるかは把握したよ。お。ついでだから厨房も片付けておいた。お、thanks。ね、clean そういうものとって疲れが出たのだろう。あ、true。うん。紅茶で良ければご馳走しよう。So <笑> Oh, well, it's true that I'm tired, so I guess I'll have a drink. I take a seat. He hands me the teacup silently, and I take a sip. Oh, it's good. Oishi. Oh, oh. Of course it's an exotic Chinese tea. It is the best part of my favorite leaf. So I'd get mad if it tasted bad. In fact, I get mad when <laughs> I get mad when people <laughs> someone uses one of my favorite favorites without permission. Yes, I would get mad, but when it's brewed so wonderfully, I'm too happy to complain. Hmm. <laughs> What? <laughs> Hold on. What are you laughing about? This is why I started. I shipped them in the first episode. Like, they're so cute. <laughs> I said to come down to the table. They're so adorable. 
Their interactions just make my day. I'm smiling so hard right now. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. I didn't become a master just so someone could brew me tea. Besides, there's no need for you to do some things without orders. So, that's right. I didn't become a master. If you want to do that, I'll be careful for you now. Thank you. Right, what I need is a powerful familiar and my phone is on. I'm going to put this shit on silent. I've never heard of a servant who uh, does things around the house and I've, I have no need of one either. Oh crap, what, that was a... Why what is that? I've never heard of a servant who does things around the house and I've never need one either. Nothing interpreted however you want. More importantly, do you remember who you are now? Look at his face. He shakes his head. Just as I thought. It's bad. If he can't remember it after one night, it's not going to come back easily, even if we test various things today. This is still... Alright, I'll work out what to do about your memory. Well, get ready, Archer. Since you were just summoned, you don't know your way around yet, right? I'll show you around town. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you're going to walk around in that? It hardly looks normal, and besides, other masters would be able to tell you're a servant right away. I don't intend to go announcing to everyone that I'm a servant, you know. Master, you know. あ、そういうことか。確かに生きがえる必要はあるが、それは実体化している時だけでね。サーヴァントはもともと霊体だ。非戦闘時には霊体になってマスターにかける負担を減らす。Oh yeah, you are still a heroic spirit, even if, even if you're stunned already. Since it's a master's magical energy that gives the spirit form, if I cut off that magical energy... Shizam, oh. Guardian spirit! <laughs> uh -huh. Wow, that's really convenient. In that case, it must be hard to search for other masters. Ah. Oh, that's true. She could like fucking sense everybody. <laughs> Just as Archer says, a master is usually a great magus. A magus with strong magical energy is sensitive to other magical energy. But as far as I know, no one in this town has magical energy that strong. Yet. Huh. <laughs> huh. So what about you? Can you tell where the other servants are? <clears throat> Master. What about the class? I'm like, well, I guess not. Archer's magical energy isn't that strong. I expect only the serpent caster, caster, would have enough magical energy to locate enemies from a distance. I feel sorry for her. I really do. Alright, then follow me, Archer. I'll show you the world you've been summoned into. So, Look at that line. Look at that fucking line. I don't think I'll be one of them. Because fucking Yuremia. <laughs> Wait. Huh? What do you mean by something important? Oh, um, uh, Archer, every time you pause, I think you're done and I just click and you're not done. The most important exchange? Equivalent exchange? For my alchemist. Now, fundamentally, the reward for the servant is to participate in the Holy Girl War. There shouldn't be any more exchanges necessary. You know, I just said so in surprise. You... <sighs> These little hints. <laughs> Listening to a certain see if I never like if I never got into the series and just started playing the VM right then and there, I would have I would have no clue that like the connections. But he he fucking he says he says things like, Oh yeah, the player is not new to me. Um, you're really not a point person, are you? And you know, Emia uh, that's great. I feel so smart. <laughs> I listening to this time I realized something. Come to think of it, he hasn't addressed me by my name yet. Ah, crap. Names. You done talking now? Oh, Alright. 
Asser, 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 Yes, there's no mistake. After all, there's no meaning to exchanging names. Servant and Master have a relationship, a relationship forced upon them by the command spell. For a contract with a for the normal familiar, the exchange of names has a great deal of meaning, but no such bond is needed between the master and the servant. But still, Arjun calls it important. It's a, it's a proof of truth, trust that we shall be fighting alongside each other, even without the command spell. I'm Tosakarin, and you can call me whatever you like. I answer bluntly, unable to be true to my feelings. Well, actually, it would be probably be easier for me to be addressed in a reserved manner like you or a master, and he'll probably call me that. But that said, Archer mutters my name to himself. So, Rinto. Ah, this is a very good thing. He said something outrageous. Rin. どうした何やら顔色がおかしいが。She it's just so great. I keep pointing out all these things that Emmy has said, and this is like, yo, yo, I go out with Archer. Oh, okay, this is different. The city we live in, Fuyuki City, can be basically divided into two towns. Here, the place with old houses and traditional buildings is Miyam Miyama City. On the other side of the river is Shinto, where modern development is happening. My house is in the older section, Miyam Miyama City. Miyama City is broadly separated into two sections as well. This is one of the sections, the western style houses, where immigrants from the foreign countries live. And the other side is the area of old Japanese style houses with a mountain behind it. Both sections are on top of hills, so you could say both are sur uh, suburbs. The houses in between these two sections are relatively ordinary. As a demonstration, they're they're this ordinary. They are this ordinary. This is the crossroads of Miyama, Miyama City and this hill leading up to the western style houses like mine. On the opposite side, a hill heads up to the Japanese style houses. A bridge leads the uh, a bridge leads to the northern neighborhood narrowing town of Shinto and the other way leads to the school, shopping district, even Rudolph Rudolph Temple up on the mountain. This is the large bridge connecting kind of Shinto and Miyama City. A few years ago a big station was built over that side and it has grown rapidly since then. Even though Miyama City and Shinto are in the same city, you can think of them as totally different places. The city's name, Fuyuki, or Winter Tree, supposedly comes from- Oh yeah, because Fu means, um, wait, no, wait, doesn't- Fuck, I forgot the word for forest. Whatever, but Yuki means what? <laughs> snow or some shit like- You know what, let me stop, I don't even know Japanese like that. I'm trying to be all smart, I don't- I'm not gonna lie to myself. Supposedly comes from the fact that winters are long here. I, I forgot the word for forest. It's like Fu- Fuori or something like that. Crap. I'm gonna look it up later. Thinking about it, this place certainly has a long winter. In contrast, though, it's quite warm here, and February here is uh, about as warm as December everywhere else. I bet a lot. I bet a few hot springs would turn up if you went digging around. And again, this half party of cold would make a city uh, make the city a poor hot spring season resort. Fuyuki City has a friendly winter and a strained climate that enters spring in April, with no changes. Futori? Futari? No, no, Futari is together. <laughs> uh, Shinto is all like this. The rapidly developing town started to build tall buildings as if brushed by something, and as a result, looks very artificial. Though that's only in the last 10 years. From what I hear, the big fire here 10 years ago pretty much burned down the whole residential district. I wonder why. Keep hearing somebody. Okay, these buildings were constructed on the land no one lived on anymore. Just being what do you call it, observant to my surroundings right now, and this is the center of it, uh, center of it, this is Sh Shinto's Park, now that we've seen all the important, oh, this is Shinto's Park, now that we've seen all the important locations, what are your thoughts? I asked Archer, who was standing right next to me, I can't see him, of course. It's very dark. So it shows, huh? Well, that's because there's a history to this place. Look around the park. 
park this big and organized should be a playground for kids, even on weekdays. But there are only a few people here, and this desolate feeling runs through the place. It was about ten years ago. They say there was a huge fire in this area. It burned for a day until it went out just as it began to rain. Afterwards, the town was rebuilt, but this place was left as it was. It was burned to ashes, so they made it into a park. Archer says nothing. But even though I, can, I can't see him, I can tell that he is feeling something special. Because <laughs> you know what, Mia was stuck in that fucking fire from ten years ago for the fourth Grail War. Yeah. Um... You seem to have noticed, that's right, this is where the last Holy Grail War ended. I don't know the details, but the last war ended here, and the place has been like this ever since. I can't wait to go in-depth with this, like, <laughs> I mean, I want to learn more. <sighs> Grudges. Huh? You can sense those kinds of things? Arthur brings up an unusual term in the motionless voice, Reality Marble. Reality Marble. One of the magics considered the... Wait, one of the magics considered the pinnacle of Mag Magi seemed to, said to be infinitely close to sorcery. For hundred years, a boundary field has been defensive field has been the defensive field that protects the pockets. Put simply, it is a vicious version of a security system on a house. A boundary field is something applied to an existing area of building to protect oneself from outside enemies, but it is merely a transformation applied to what already exists. But a reality marble is different. A reality marble is an image that erodes reality. Imaged, Im imagined world of Magus, a boundary field that paints over reality without letting a Magus heart take form. That is what we call a reality marble. In other words, it's a large range of magic that distorts, no, remakes the world as the manga, manga wishes. Oh! Okay, that's pretty impressive. What's Eh? No, I was just surprised. I just thought that reality marble, see marble seemed an uncommon term for an archer. What's <laughs> See, all these shits just coming together, like... Of, of course, reality marble is the taboo of taboos. The secret principle, secret principle. It doesn't make any sense for an archer to know about it. Isn't that right? I ask with my expression. And then I, I sense him see sighing heavily next to me. Lim. Eiyu to wa kenjutsu, majutsu ni takeda mono sasu. Kageba ne kega hiro. Archer da kara to itte yumi shika tsukunai to omou no wa katte da ga. Magic weaponry. Watashi ga iro sabaku ni. Sonna rakkan wa motanai de kure. Ugh. Kind of think of it. He's right. I, I understand. That was a careless thing to say. I'll be careful from now on, so it's okay, right? Lim, zubari yo. Kimi wa yushu da ga. Sore yue ni tanin wo kashou hyouka suru ketten ga aru. Seijin suru made ni wa kyousei shita mae. Oh, you done? Okay. Y you're being rather rude. R reform? That's that's like training bad habits out of a horse. <laughs> yeah, shitsure. Hey, that's even worse. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch? <laughs> She's questioning me. Ouch? <laughs> Her arm suddenly hurts. Lim. Be quiet for a second, Archer. The command spell engraved on my right hand is hurting. A small warning as if to get my attention. Someone's watching us. Hmm. I extend my consciousness to the surroundings. Ooh, who's watching us? I roll out the threads of my uh, consciousness and search through the park. I can't find them. What about you, Archer? Then it must be a master watching. I don't know who it is, but if Archer can't sense it, it has to be a master. There aren't seven of us yet, but if we wanted to, we could start the fight at any time. It seems the one watching us wants to battle, but... Yes, but a superior mangas can consume their magical energy. Even though command spells react to other, uh, each other, they operate on a magical energy. If the master has closed his magic circuit, it will be hard to find them. Yeah, that's exactly it. 
That's right. Well, if I search around my house, I should be able to find something that kills my magical energy. But right, right, because if I don't hide it, they'll come to us. Right? It saves us the trouble of going to find them. <laughs> she just wants to get this shit over and done with. Audrey takes a deep breath and goes quiet as if he's shocked. What? You want to say I shouldn't be overconfident? I ask, remembering, remembering our previous conversation. But Archer just says, That's impossible. You are the best one. Huh? You have to be able to do this. Hell yeah. He says, trying to fold back his laughter. Because Sean is shocked. <laughs> well, it's not like I like his response, but we decided to continue walking around town. We toured the important places, really dragging our observer, observer around, having had dinner along the way, and bringing things to a conclusion. We were walking a lot, and it's now 7. At this time of the night, our destination should give us the best view. Ooh, where would that be? Oh, on top of the building! Oh! Is this where Salt Emion? Yeah, strong wind. The tallest building is Shinto. The view from the rooftop. I'm like thinking of the opening of the first season of Little Boy Wars, when they were just standing on top of that building. Holy shit. <laughs> the view from the rooftop of this building is a fitting end for this day. What do you think? This place has a great view, Archer. So like Kimito Tsukio Otokoni Dojo Sino. Yokumoma. Kokuma the skikat the Tsremas the Kureta Monodas. I guess. Huh? Did you say something, Archer? Suno no console scushi. Tuscany e Bashota. Hajimaka of Kuni Kriba. True. What are you talking about? Certainly it's a nice view, but all you can tell from here is the over overview of the town. You have to go to the places themselves and know the layout. So I mean, because, yeah. True. Is that so? So can you see my house from here, Archer? No. I don't see the house the Oh, damn! I wish my eyes were like that. Like, my eyesight is horrible. <laughs> no way, the tiles on the bridge? That's not just good. His eyesight could match the telescopes you find on those roof these, these rooftops. I'm surprised. You really are an archer. Rim. Masaka to Omoga. Baby. What does your bacani stay in Janaida or not? Of course not, I just misunderstood because even though you're called Archer, you don't seem like one. So that's a mundai hatsugen da. Kaette kara tsuikyu shi yo. It seems Archer has been taking a liking to the view as he falls silent. He'll, he's probably working out the town's low layout. I can't interrupt him while he's surveying the battlefield. I leave Archer's side and move to the edge of the building. All I can see with my eyesight is the lights below this building. Like the headlights of the cars in the streets with people going home after work. I can't tell what kinds of cars or what kinds of people they are. I can see them, but still not see them. Just like noticing someone is watching you before, but not being able to see the watcher. At the very least, there's one person that has his base in Shinto. I strain my eyes and stare below me. There are seven ser masters in all. I still don't know who the masters are, nor which servants they command. Right now, I assume all the masters are walking around town collecting information on other masters. Suddenly, I feel someone's eyes on me. There is no reaction from the command spell. I just feel someone's eyes on me. From below? I look down. There are many people walking around on the road. Among them is a person. One person is looking up at me as if looking up at the moon. I can't tell for sure who it is. I can't tell for sure, but it still, I still know who it is. It's surprising. What? What's he doing at this time, kind of time? Archer calls out to me as if sensing my excitement. Nothing. I just saw someone I knew. Just an ordinary person. Nothing to do with us. Yet. I answer. I need to hide my irritation and leave the building place where I was standing. There's no way he could have seen me from this ground. Well, that would explain why Emmy is kind of like Archer. He has good ass eyes to see someone from the rooftop. Just yes, say. There's no way he could have. Uh, he must have been looking up at the building by coincidence. So it doesn't mean I was. I mean, I, I was noticed. But still, I'm angry that I let him see me acting as a Magus. I, mean, I already know who she's talking about, but yeah. By the time we get to the Miyama City, it's already past 9 o'clock. So, like Shinto, Miyama City is an old residential district. No, well, no one walks around after 9, and the town grows as quiet as midnight. So, that's a pretty much it. Do you have any idea, good idea of the town? Hmm? Ah. Oh. 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 Oh.
And then we're done for the day. I'm not up to par either, so let's go home and rest. We kind of rode up the gentle hill, and there's someone walking in front of us. Huh? Sakura? Oh, wait, hi, Sakura? This is bad. I don't want to see her right now. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, that person is someone I know. I skipped school today, so I don't want to see her. As I speak, I look at the figure ahead of us on the road. There's a well-known first-year student in Gilgamesh and a foreigner I don't know. Ew, he looks so gross. <laughs> look at his face. Ew, but it's fine. I mean, that's just how it rolls. Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> They are talking about something. No, it seems the foreigner is talking to Sakura against her wishes. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Now I'm thinking. Because. Huh. Well, I don't know. Because cause the, the what I watched so far was only like Blade Works. And Shinji had Ryder first. And then he got Gilgamesh. So now I'm thinking. It's just like. How did Sakura. How, how did Sakura start talking to Gilgamesh? I mean. Unless she was a master too, and then she just took over. I mean, I don't know. But, yeah. No, I don't know him. There are lots of Western style houses around here, so he might be visiting one of them. I say that much and scold myself for being too soft where the gr that girl is involved. Archer, is he human? So, that's odd. That's really odd. <laughs> right, he's not a master either, so I guess it's just a minor quarrel. Still, I know she's not the kind of girl to get into trouble with a guy. The blonde guy goes down the road we came up. Huh. Okay, so we're going to stop here for today. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you all.